Hey guys, it's nutrition expert Liam here, and in this video I'll discuss the benefits of supplementing with vitamin B12. Now, cobalamin, uh, more commonly known as vitamin B12, uh, cobalamin simply the more technical name, uh, is one of these many water-soluble vitamins. Uh, in fact, all B vitamins are water-soluble. Uh, vitamin C, additionally, is water-soluble as well. Uh, when I say water-soluble, that sounds a bit fancy, right? It simply just means that it can be dissolved in the solvent water. So you can mix it with water, essentially. Now, vitamin B12 plays uh, many important roles in the proper functioning of both the brain and our nervous system as a whole. Now, vitamin B12 additionally plays key roles in the proper functioning of our erythrocytes. Uh, that's just a technical term for red blood cells. Uh, the erythro prefix in Greek simply means red, whereas the site suffix uh, in Greek simply refers to cell. So it's loosely translated as meaning red cell. Something to keep in mind. So vitamin B12 has many metabolic functions. Uh, in fact, it plays a role in the metabolic function of every cell in our body. Uh, specifically, it is involved in the regulation and synthesis of our DNA, which is deoxyribonucleic acid. One of the key benefits of supplementing with vitamin B12 is obviously the fact that it can help prevent vitamin B12 deficiency, uh, which sort of goes without saying, right? Uh, which is a very common deficiency globally. Uh, I would argue it's one of the most common, uh, maybe other than iron deficiency. Uh, okay, so B12 deficiency is known to increase your likelihood of developing symptoms of fatigue, depression, poor memory, weakness, and anemia. Uh, anemia just means a lack of proper functioning blood. Uh, the and prefix means lacking, and emia means blood. Vitamin B12 is also able to benefit our neurological function. So the function of our brain, essentially, and sort of all our nervous system. Uh, specifically, vitamin B12 is able to preserve the health of our neuronal cells, our neurons, and assist uh, in the production of the communication chemicals known as neurotransmitters. Uh, for example, things like serotonin, GABA, and dopamine are these neurotransmitters. One of the more unknown benefits of uh, supplementing with B12 is its ability to support our heart health. Uh, B12 is notoriously effective at reducing this amino acid known as homocysteine. Uh, when homocysteine is elevated in our blood, uh, it can lead to an increased risk of developing many heart disease, uh, such as atherosclerosis, um, and can cause things like heart attacks, uh, which is a myocardial infarction. Now, vitamin B12 has also been shown to help you maintain your bone density. Uh, this helps to ensure you have healthy bones and don't develop conditions such as osteoporosis. Uh, osteoporosis is this condition where your bones become very brittle. They become very porous. Uh, that's where the porosis part comes from. For dosage recommendations, uh, it's quite difficult to give an exact recommendation because uh, I don't know your anthropometry don't know your height, your weight, and uh, also things like biological sex uh, can influence your requirements. Uh, but fortunately, vitamin B12 is water soluble, as I said earlier. Uh, so there's no established upper level intake. Uh, it, toxicity is therefore extremely uncommon. Uh, because it's water soluble, you can just excrete uh, excessive amounts of B12 uh, through your urine. Okay. Usually when you supplement with B vitamins, you'll get this sort of neon yellow sort of looking urine. And that's just your kidneys um, helping to excrete uh, the vitamin B12 or the other B vitamins that you don't need. So with this said, I feel quite safe to recommend intake that far exceeds the recommended dietary allowance. Um, specifically, I'm talking about the US RDA. Uh, it recommends actually under a microgram. But I feel safe recommending that you take anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 micrograms, which is much more than the RDA. Uh, but this is still extremely safe. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope you learned uh, a little bit more about B12 than you knew before the video. Thank you so much for watching this content. I just want to ask that you like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, guys.